position pretty much nailed down in 2023. As you say, Bailey Clements offers a bit more attacking verve. And proved it, didn't he, coming into the side on the final day and getting a goal. Now here's Colclough. Couldn't quite release Dallas, but he finds Mandeville instead. Great save by Charles Cook. Chesterfield starting to look a threat. We can't dwell on the ball in this area, Ryan Sturt, because you'll get caught. And this is what Chesterfield, I think, have changed over this season in terms of the players they got at their disposal now. They will hunt you down, and when they win that ball, they will play on the counter. Get the shot towards goal, maybe Dobra, if you'd have squared it towards him, maybe it'd be in a slightly harder ball. A chance here, out of nothing. And a very risky challenge from Ross Fitzsimons, who in the end uh, did just enough on Bez Topoloi. Here's Topoloi. Once again, finds himself in a bit of space on this near side. Worst cross either. Chance for Arthur's great block by Grimes. Sturk. They are having their moments, Bromley. You know, a little few and far between. Use the wing backs more, so many more times, especially down this left hand side. Topoloi, and then when Corey Whiteley pulls out here, the switch on is it on every time. That space. I just don't think they've utilised the wing-backs anywhere near enough when they've had the ball. That's where their space is. Now Cheek, with Whiteley up there too. There is Whiteley going in, and Marriott can't miss! Bromley lead in first half stoppage time! Adam Marriott, the player who wouldn't even have started were it not for injury to Louis Dennis, has given Andy Woodman's side a vital lead here. One of the simplest goals he'll ever score, but he's not complaining. A simple goal for Adam Marriott. Great press in that midfield there from Jude Arthurs, and it's a quality ball there from Callum Reynolds that puts Michael Cheek in. And then when you get in these positions here, it's about the quality of delivery. And what happens is, if it's Simons thinks that Ash Palmer's going to clear that, he leaves it. And that's what surprises the goalkeeper. What a time to be making a mistake. But that's what the playoffs are all about, fine margins. And they've capitalised on that, Bromley. They've had to work hard for that goal, and they found it. Well, so his third goal in 2023, and would you believe his first in open play since he scored twice against Chesterfield back in October. Adam Marriott back on the goal trail and getting Bromley's biggest goal of the season so far. Still got a couple of minutes left in this first half. Real epic first period here and Bromley just sneaking ahead as the half-time whistle was nearing. Time and again in the remaining 32 minutes plus stoppages. Colclough driving one, and it's deflected in! Andy Dallas celebrates, but I think it went in of Deji Laraway. One way or the other, Chesterfield are back on terms just before the hour mark, and it is game on once again in this second semi-final. Well, it's another goal when you look at the quality of a ball that goes in that causes the defender an issue. They've been pressing in these areas. And it's just good play again down that right-hand side. Just teases the ball into an area. It's no goal, isn't it? But what Andy Dallas does really well, he puts pressure on the defender. It's an unfortunate one facing towards your own goal. Flying challenge by Deji Leroy. And what's the referee going to do here? It's a red card for the teenager. It's been a terrible second half for Deji Leroy. The score of the own goal for the Chesterfield equaliser. And now shown the red card after this foolish challenge. What's your verdict? I mean, 
it's, it's a clumsy challenge. An unnecessary challenge from the youngster. King going for the goal line. Show me with a clearance with Dobra lurking. Big appeals for handball. And a free kick is given right on the edge of the box. Mike Jones's strike hitting the arm of Bingham, I think it was. And we can't really blame the referee uh, for getting it wrong. It, impossible to see to the naked eye, that one. That's a great decision, that's strike the arm. Just when they go for power here and just maybe move the ball off the spot to break up the wall. Maybe a, a brilliantly executed free kick if Old Naked can get it up and over, or King, maybe go goalkeeper's side. King had a go last time. It's Old Naked, he scores! And Chesterfield lead for the first time today. They've turned it around in the second half. Darren Oldacre's strike gave Reese Charles Cook no chance. And Chesterfield are now 10 minutes plus stoppages away from a trip to Wembley. That's a quality free kick from Darren Oldacre. I mentioned how far this out was in terms of trying to get up and over or just go goalkeeper's side and hit the target. You can see the three Chesterfield players. They just create that little bit of space for him to hit the ball through. You see Grimes there, he just moves, and he goes straight through the middle of that. It's a brilliantly executed free kick, takes a little deflection on the way through. Not really much the goalkeeper could do about that. Hasn't scored since November, Darren Oldacre. He certainly saved it for a special occasion. This time, Burkamp brought it down. Whiteley. Show me his header. Oh, and it's an equaliser in the 99th minute. Michael Cheek has got the goal. Bromley back in it. The 10 man strike late in the day. And it's more playoff drama here in the National League. Chesterfield can't believe it. They were cruising to the promotion final. But Michael Cheek's equaliser has snatched it away from them. Well, nothing in football will ever amaze you. National League playoffs, the drama they always bring, season after season. Saw drama at Notts County. We have seen drama again. And they've just kept showing me up there. And that was a brilliant bit of play there from Burkamp. He brought it down, he kept it alive, the cross came in. But where was the market? Is it too simplistic to say that Bromley are playing for penalties? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Charles Cook took his time when he got the ball. It's just game management now from Andy Woodman's side to see it out. Aldaker took a swing at it, didn't really connect. Chance here for Mandeville, he scores! And Chesterfield's lead is restored. The Spyrites creep ahead once again. Liam Mandeville absolutely smashed that into the back of the net. It's been the most successful season of his career. And this is the biggest goal he's got this campaign so far. That's Mitchell Burkham on the edge of the box, it just gets caught on the ball. Trombley just trying to be a bit too clever with it, just clear your lines there. A heavy touch from him, that allows Mandeville to drive it into the box. A sensational strike from him. Such a heavy touch there, slows himself down and smashes it into the back of the net. Having the season of his career in a Chesterfield shirt, and could that be the winner? his fourth goal in his last six games he took it absolutely beautifully Maguire time is now up Banks opting to keep possession wisely enough and there it is Chesterfield are on their way to Wembley Paul Cook 
has put them on the brink of a return to the EFL. Will it be third time lucky in the playoffs for the Spyrites, who seem to have timed their run of form to perfection? They did this one the hard way.